Okay, this is my version of the uh, uh, DC conversion on this uh, Chicago electric welding flux 125. Uh, Alfred James, uh, a nice fellow on YouTube, gave me the idea and I, he inspired me to do this. Uh, and I, I want to give him a lot of this credit because uh, this is the this is a spin-off from what he had done and uh, he, he really had a good idea and uh, so I'm going to show you this so we got we got the uh, gun lead here uh, negative and we got the ground lead here a positive and uh, what we got here is uh, I put a switch in here. It's a momentary, uh, a momentary contact toggle with an LED. I'll explain that to you in just a minute. Let's turn this thing around here. We can see. Okay, now I got uh, I got five capacitors in here, and the total amount of microfarads is a uh, hundred and eleven thousand. And uh, this is a junction board here I made and all these capacitors are mounted on a circuit board and the circuit board is mounted to the bottom of the cabinets <coughs> excuse me and uh, uh, here we have uh, this is an independent uh, AC transformer that powers this board and originally what they had done is got the power off these uh, these two uh, leads output leads of the transformer to power this board so I cut the leads from it and I put in this transformer so I've got about 27 volts AC feeding this board here and uh, that uh, that turned out pretty well actually it's, it's independent of this transformer now okay so we're going to turn around here oh yeah here's the uh this is the fan here that's the way i got it mounted just the way he did mounted it mounted on the outside there and uh he really gave he really gave a good idea as to how to do this okay here are the other here are the other two caps the third one is back in here I don't know if you can see it or not. The third one. The third one is back in there. That's a large one. That's a 47,000 microfarad. And all these capacitors are rated at 100 volts. Uh, if you see here, I've taken this transformer and moved it back toward the back of the cabinet. And uh, just tip this over here. There's the bridge rectifier and of course the heat sink for it right there. And if you look up in there you'll see a large resistor. That resistor is a 22 ohm 150 watt. Well, see, that's an overkill. I didn't really need it that high. But <coughs> uh, that's for discharging the caps. And if you look down in there you'll see a, uh, an inductor I made and it's mounted to the front of the cabinet here uh, wrap that around there it's a eight gauge eight gauge wire there okay and I uh, haven't tested this yet I'm going to test it today but uh, you know, the, w what happens here is when I get through welding uh, I push down on this and hold it because it's a momentary contact. I push down on it, hold it till that light uh, extinguishes, and that'll tell me there that the caps are dis are, are discharged. And uh, that's how I put it like that to keep the resistor from uh, drawing current off the caps the whole time I'm welding. So the, the, the resistor is out of circuit while I'm welding. When I get through welding, I push this button here, and that'll pull the resistor in the circuit and discharge the caps.
Okay, I'm going to try to weld with this today. And uh, I'll let you know later how it does. Thank you.